Hi, my name is Nick Dollamount, and I'm a Technical Support Advisor for One Identity. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of access templates within Active Roles. The topics we'll be covering, I'll be answering what are access templates, we'll go through creating an access template, as well as linking an access template. In Active Roles, access templates are a template of permissions either providing access or denying access to objects or their properties. If we take a look over here in the default access templates, we can see we have a bunch of available access templates that you can use to provide access or deny access to all types of different objects, from computers to contacts, printers or users or groups. Sometimes you want to be able to create your own custom access template though, because we might not have a built-in access template for the permissions that you want to apply. So it's very easy to create your own. I'm going to come over here. You can either create a, a new container to keep things organized or create an access template right at the root of the access templates folder. Just right click your container, go to new and choose access template and then we'll provide it a name. So I'm going to call this one deny group access. Then I'll click Next, and this is where we set the permissions that we want to apply. So I'm going to click Add. Now it's asking what object type we want this to apply to. So because this is going to deny group access, I want this to apply to group objects only. So I'm going to choose only the following classes, and I'm going to check off Group. We'll click Next. Now we choose the type of access. We have some different options here, and I'm just going to choose Full Control but I'm actually going to check off deny permission. So this is going to deny full control over groups. So we'll click finish. And you can see now we have deny the permission of full control and it applies to group objects. So I'll click next and finish. So there we have our deny group access access template. You can always open this up at any time and click the permissions tab to modify the permissions. You can add some in, remove some, or make changes to existing ones. There's options also for nesting. So if you wanted to nest other access templates into here so that those access templates would take into effect, you can choose add from here and pick another access template. We won't do that for now though, because we just want to deny full control access. The next step is to link the access template to the container where we want to affect it and to the trustee who we want to affect. So right click the access template and select links. Click the add button and this brings up the delegation of control wizard. So we'll click next. First we choose where we want to it apply. So we'll click add here. I'm just going to browse down to my demos OU and we want it to apply to this groups container. So double click it, it'll drop down bottom and click OK. And we'll click next. So this is the users or groups that you want to delegate the control to. So we'll click add here. I'm just gonna click browse again because it stays on your last location. I'll choose users. I'll click check name. So this is my demo user. I'll click next. And the defaults are fine for me, so it'll be applied to the object, the groups container, as well as child objects within it, and continue to inherit down. So I'll click next. We don't want to do this right now, but you do have the option to propagate permissions directly to Active Directory. Click next and finish. So now we have our first link. Let's click OK, and then we'll test it out. But just before we log in, I want to show you that there are some groups in here. So I have six groups in here that we'll be denying access to. So to test this out, I'm actually going to log in with my demo user. So I'm going to right click Active Roles and click Connect. We'll choose the Options button and select the following user. Then we put in our user information.
Click Connect. Okay, so now let's drill down to that container. And now we see that there's no groups showing. So the groups are there, but we've denied full control access to this user, so they can't even see them. And that's all there is to it. And that concludes this video. If you'd like more information about ActiveRoles, please visit support.oneidentity.com.